Hello and welcome everyone to RCW Ascend. Kicking things off here with the Red River Connection. They've got themselves quite a record so far. Even though they're only 1-0, but I mean it's still a better record than some of the other teams can claim for that matter. River Connection will be taking on the Sea Batteries. That goes of their first match, or the first match of Ascend, rather. Christian making his way down to the ring. Of course, the last appearance of the Sea Batteries was actually on Strike Zone, and by the time this comes out, would have been yesterday in a losing effort to the Authors of Pain. So, hopefully, this will be a good opportunity for them to bounce back after a loss on Strike Zone. Last night on Strike Zone, that the network executive Craig Spencer made the announcement that the RCW Tag Team Championships will be on the line between the Lower City Machine Guns and the Colognes. for Cameron to make his way down the ring. Just a bit of a programming note that this will be the final ascend before WWE 2K22 as will the shows for the rest of the week for 2KCW and our um, RCW Strike Zone will be the final ones before 2K22 and even then we will still be taking we will be taking a two week break to get everything all set up in WWE 2K22. We're looking to create some more history in 2K22. We hope that you will all in join us. There we go, Keith Mayfield. Chris Christian starting things off here. Swing neck breaker from Mayfield. Into the corner and STL almost do a backbreaker and side rushing leg sweep. And Christian takes down Mayfield. I would suggest that they are already in better shape than they were last night on Strike Zone after getting decimated by the Authors of Pain. To the corner. And Christian taking down both members of the Red River Connection. Surprisingly. And barely doesn't even get a one count from Mayfield. Up, spinning back elbow connects. Now Keith Mayfield in control. Ooh, kick caught there by Cameron Neo, and he tags himself in. So now it's Neo and Mayfield, and Mayfield's really making a retreat to kick to tag in Buck McCoy. Interesting turn of events there. Yeah, looking to stomp away on Buck McCoy with a knife edge chop from McCoy. He's feeling it here. Against Cameron. Trip on the middle rope. The elevated knee drop. 
right into the shoulder. Can't imagine what that feels like. I know what that does in armbar attempt here. My Buck McCoy has to break it. Down to the C Barry's corner. McCoy able to counter. Or to escape. Setting him into the opposite corner. Around and around we go where we stop. Nobody knows. To the C Barry's corner. Tag made. Off the ropes of suplex there. With a bit of a rope assist. Here comes Keith Mayfield off the tag. Flying forearm connects. Whoa, blocked there by Christian. Running clothesline takes him down. And a drop kick from Keith Mayfield. I don't think I've ever seen him do that before from the big man. And the rolling neck snap by Keith Mayfield. Right to the abdomen from Curtis Christian. Knocks down Mayfield into his own corner. Go for a springboard leg drop. And Keith's back on his feet. Not gonna. Oh, wait a minute. We got both members of the Red River Connection in here. Keith retreat. Not. I don't want to say he retreats back to the apron, but gets back up on the apron. The elevated gut buster from Christian to Keith Mayfield. Double knife edge chop. That time connects. Dump or was blocked rather. Dumped up over by Keith Mayfield. Now we just got a brawl outside the ring. Another flying forearm. Connects from Mayfield. Referee now at a count of five would be not too good for both teams to get a draw of a count out here. Or draw result by count double count out. Christian is trying to look to make the tag to Cameron. Keith able to catch him, drop toe hold into the stretch. A bit of a modified cross face. Christian going to tap out here to the submission. No. Outside right kick blocked by Christian. Christian's got him up. And he hits him. With the plummet. Center of the ring. Keith able to break up it. The pinfall in this match will continue. Cameron inadvertently just knocked out his own partner. As both legal men are down. Christian able to make the tag. Here comes Cameron. And then a little bit of miscommunication there between the C batteries. Keith able to take advantage. Up on the shoulders and a power slam. The power slam by Keith Mayfield into the cover on Cameron. Kick out. Into the neutral corner. Goes into the double leg takedown. Double leg takedown from Cameron going into the ground and pound. I was going to transition to an armbar for some reason or other, but I mean, ground and pound is good enough if he wants to go for a, a TKO victory. You know, Cameron just trying to decide what his next move should be here against Keith.
Deeth able to get back up onto his feet. And Cameron trying to chop him right down again. Cameron trying to go suplex into a brain buster. Float over into the pinning. To a pinning predicament. And Cameron looks like he might be trying to set up Keith for the Neo space, but he's able to shake, get out of the way of it. Another knee to the abdomen of Keith Mayfield. And an uppercut to Cameron. to get a doctor out here. I believe that Keith's been busted open off that maneuver from Cameron Neo. And straight right hand. Whoa, Keith. Or excuse me, Buck. Buck with a side suplex. Take down Cameron. Now both men laid out on the floor. Interesting strategy from Buck, but I mean that came back to bite him in the end. Keith going for waist lock control, counter for counter against Cameron, and again another drop toe hold into that submission to get again. It's Cameron. We saw Christian in this move in this submission earlier. Is he gonna tap out here? Keith lets go of it. Maybe looking for that power slam yet again. No, he's going to tag in Keith May or Buck McCoy rather. And Buck's like, what? You're just leaving me the scraps? And now Buck into the battery's corner. Goes out of the way of the splash. Again, opposite neutral corner. Buck just trying to get something going here against Cameron. That drop kick will get it done. It'll get you started. Now into the gator roll from Buck McCoy. Stomping away on the right arm of Cameron Neo. Again, just stomping away, stomping away. And back to the gator roll. Yet again, I mean, it's, it's basic, but it gets the job done. Or what it's trying to do to suck the life out of your opponent. The gator roll. Stifle the breathing. Cameron's got him up. Pile driver to Buck McCoy. And pull that pile driver from out of nowhere. Sweeps the leg. Goes Buck into the knee bar. Knee bar applied. From McCoy. Belly to belly position. Blocked from the box of the ears. To Cameron. Cameron just laying it all in on Buck McCoy in the corner. And out of the corner. Now Cameron got both legs trapped. And a stomp to the spine going face first into the mat. But again, trying to go for a suplex or something there against Keith but the power advantage is too much into the power bomb from Keith from Buck and he gets the win off the power bomb Buck McCoy with the power bomb takes out Cameron 
Red River Connection are now 2-0 here in tag team action. So congratulations to the Red River Connection on another victory as we move on to our next matchup. next matchup folks and it's well it's somebody from the deck it's it's Mike Kanellis um, for those who are not aware Mike Kanellis by how do I put this Maria forces Mike not to compete so I guess this when when either Maria doesn't know or behind her back or whatever Mike decides to compete every now and then that's just a ruling by her that's he really very much has no saying to it but I mean happy wife happy life I suppose but regardless Mike Kanellis is out here competing in a singles match here on Ascend He doesn't have any other member of the deck with him here tonight. Of course, Ascend is coming to you from the old ECW arena in Philadelphia. And here comes Montez Ford, who we haven't seen so far this year. We last saw him defeat his former partner, Angelo Dawkins, at Winner's Wrath. We got some new gear and color for Montez Ford. Being in his first matchup of the new year. Montez feeling good. Or maybe it's the undisclosed beverage in the solo cup. Could also be it. Hopefully it's water, something more hydrational than any other kind of substance. and ready to go as Montez Ford and here we go against Mike Bennett and spine buster out of the gate from Mike Bennett to Ford and into the cutter Mike Bennett just pulling out all the stops here against Montez Stomping away on Montez into the cover. One count. Montez able to get back up onto his feet. He cannot get an ounce of offense. And there he could have. There you go. You put in a good amount there with that spinning heel kick. And a big boot from Bennett. Montez now starting to get into the groove of things, flying forearm into the knee drop across the, I would say the face, but the mask of Mike Bennett. Into the corner, and he's taken down yet again, cover by Bennett, which is barely a one count. Chin lock applied here onto Montez, keeping him grounded. Montez able to get back up with his feet. Series of elbows into the abdomen of Mike Bennett. Into the corner, spinning splash. Connects from Ford. 
Now Montez with the looping DDT. Rolls Bennett over into the cover of the DDT. Is that going to be enough? No, Bennett gets the kick out. To the wrist lock control, sucker. Right hand punch from Bennett. And Ford sent flying out the ring. And Bennett, that was going to capitalize, but he gets caught into the dragon screw from Ford. And face first goes Bennett off the ring apron. Chops and strikes from Ford to Bennett. Referee at a count of five now. Both guys know they got to get back in the ring. Ford definitely knows that if he wants to pick up a victory, or at least by a definitive decision, not by a count out. Now Bennett is in control. Ford for the second, anyway. Back elbow from Ford. Into the side suplex from Montez. Montez going up to the top turnbuckle. We know what's coming here. The frog splash going parallel to perpendicular. Dead center of the ring. And Ford picks up the win over Mike Bennett. Pulling off a thing of beauty, just like another high flyer, RVD, going parallel perpendicular with that frog splash. As we take a look at the replays throughout this match, it took Montez a little while to get going, but once he got going, couldn't stop him. that this match and it is off that frog splash from Ford so Montez picks up a victory here on Ascend ladies and gentlemen we got women's action coming up next here on Ascend don't go anywhere She's back, folks. Gianna Morgan. Who we saw make her debut a couple of weeks ago on Strike Zone. Gianna Morgan making her Ascend debut. She's going to be doing the same against this. Another woman is making her a Sen debut. And that is none other than the Thunder from Down Under, Tony Storm. We saw Tony Storm last week on Strike Zone in a great matchup against Sasha Banks, where it looked like there were a few moments where Tony was going to pick up the win over the women's champion but she did, did not succeed in that venture but put on a hell of a performance but Tony Storm is here in Philly taking on Gianna Morgan one of the brightest stars in women's wrestling Tony Storm or is famously known for her time in stardom as well as the European circuit well, here we go I'm for I believe probably the first time in any kind of capacity Gianna Morgan and Tony Storm 
Morgan takes down Storm. Back elbow from Tony into the collar and elbow. Tie up Tony with the strength advantage over Gianna. Get a clean break from Tony. Waist lock control from Gianna into the takedown. Gianna keeping control, driving the knee into the spine of Tony Storm. And now Tony switch around deep German suplex. To the drop kick from Gianna Morgan. To another drop kick from Gianna. Gianna into the cover on Tony Storm. One count. Tony Storm sending Gianna to the ropes. Off the ropes. Double duck under into the arm drag. From Tony. Overhand left. These two women just going back and forth with a series of strikes. Into the flatliner there. A bit of a pay dirt from Gianna. Into the cover on Tony. Kick out. Another kick to the back from Morgan. Duo with strikes and yet another drop kick. Tony Storm into the snap mare. to the cross the straight jacket hold here from Gianna and wear down storm a headbutt from Tony signature maneuver there from Tony storm the headbutts as she delivers running shoulder tackle into the floating rib area of Gianna Morgan and now Tony with a shining wizard. Right to the face of Gianna. And now Tony's got her up for an air raid neck breaker. Rolling into the cover on Gianna Morgan to pick up a victory here. No kick out from Gianna. We saw Sasha Banks kick out of that maneuver a couple of times on strike zone, so maybe due for Tony to pick up a new maneuver or so to get the job done. Uppercut there from Storm. Now into the cover. One count from Gianna. This match has been all Tony Storm so far. You see flashes of offense from Gianna, but nothing enough to really capitalize. She's on the attack on the Tony Storm. Another pinning attempt there from Morgan. Kick out by two by Tony. Now Gianna looking for something here. Call up Tony. Blocked and countered into a spinning heel kick from Storm. And a shoulder tackle taking down Gianna out on the floor. And Gianna bringing this match back inside. They've been looking for what waist lock control there but instead we're going for another air raid neck breaker from Tony Storm dragging Gianna in the center of the ring to assure no rope breaks of sorts 
and Tony Storm picks up the victory here on Ascend. As we take a look at the replay, it's a little bit of a modified of a pay dirt from Gianna. And into the Shining Wizard from Tony Storm. So Tony Storm picks up the victory here on Sin. And gentlemen, our main event coming up next from the 2KCW locker room. Green Carter. Coming out here in our main event for Ascend this week. At one point, a one contender for the heavyweight championship. Back when Eric Anderson was the world champion, came up short against the Norse Horse. Rig would love nothing more to be back into the hunt for the world for the heavyweight championship. But he's gonna have to be taking on a worldwide phenomenon in John Marty. John Marty a multiple time world champion in promotions across the UK former progress unified world champion British heavyweight champion SCU world champion World caliber. Uh, John Marty in our main event here on Ascend. As he takes on Reed Carter. And here we go. Matchup underway. Front chancery from Marty into the knee strike. Flat face buster type of maneuver there. Innovative to say the very least. I'll say it once, I'll say it again. Going in to the court, being interested in eating turnbuckle padding animal style. So you always got to get that in at least one show. Now north-south gator roll into a bit of a cross base here from Marty. Marty in control of Reed Carter. Slingshot it back into the center of the ring. with wrist lock control close lines to Carter going for two go for three 
As he takes down Carter. Cover here by John. Into the kick out from Carter. And the drop kick out on the floor from Reed Carter. Same Reed not letting up on Marty. They'll throw him back inside the ring. Continue the match. Uppercut counter and a bit of a chop block. A forward facing chop block from Marty. Going right for the knee. For Reed Carter would not have expected that from Marty. Now Marty into the submission here. He reads, just can barely get his feet underneath the bottom rope to force a break, but he's going to escape the submission, rather. So not quite a Koji clutch, but I don't know what you would call that submission. Running rear shoulder tackle, missing from Marty into the clothesline from Carter. Clothesline that would make JBL blush from Reed Carter. Carter going right for the forehead of Marty into the elbow drop. Off the ropes goes Marty into another short tackle from Carter, falling into the cover. Yet another kick out from Marty into the standing Uranagi. From Marty and John not letting up to the million dollar slam. And another kick out from Carter. Great combination from Marty. Marty may have been looking to put this match away with the King's Landing. Reed able to counter. And now Reed is able to counter. Going for the nowhere. Going nowhere. That straight jacket power bomb. John able to escape out of the power bomb. Capitalize. But only for a second or two. For Reed continues to pick up the pace. Now it's a side headlock. Both men saw their finishing maneuvers coming. And we're back to square one again. Another uppercut out of the corner from Marty. And Carter. Driving the knee into the back. And into the slam. Carter may be looking for the going nowhere yet again. That straight jacket power bomb, Marty. Marty going for the King's Landing. The King's Landing connects and picks up the victory for John Marty here in our main event. First victory for John Marty here in 2022. Glad to see it. Hope it continues for Marty. As we make the move closer to 2K22. As I said, folks, at the top of the show, that this week of shows will be the last before a two week break. As we get things ready for 2K22. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like on this video and to subscribe so you don't miss any more action of Rain of Chaos Wrestling. Thank you everybody so much for watching. We'll see you right here next time on Ascend.